Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> As of now, the modern toilet relies on sanitation facilities and a continuously available water source, a luxury few can afford. For about 40% of the world's population, the toilet isn't able to perform its function, and the alternatives are making people sick. The problem that is looking to be solved is to provide a toilet that does not use water, electricity, or sewer connections to a place in the world that has unsatisfactory sanitation in respect to human life. The waste will be recycled as a benefit to society. Natural resources will be utilized so that it may be better maintained. For our location, the group selected the Philippines because they have toilets but not many sewers, causing their drinking water to become polluted. According to the Asian Development Bank, the Pasig River is one of the world's most polluted rivers. This is because they lack basic facilities such as plumbing and waste removal. The design of the toilet is a box-like shape with slants to keep it in place. The box itself is six foot tall, four foot long, and four feet wide with a slanted roof that collects rainwater to a pipe system that leads into this storage system in which it collects water to replace toilet paper. The, this um, setup is to make it more comfortable, more affordable, and more accessible to the Filipino people. So the materials used for our outhouse is ideal because they can all be found in the Philippines. The, the outhouse is partly made out of bamboo, which is strong and durable, and it's abundant and cheap and can be found almost everywhere throughout the country. Uh, everything is natural, like our dung beetles is, is natural for removing the waste, and we use rainwater collected from the roof for sanitation. The only thing unnatural would be the toilet. Um, it's 12 gauge steel and we'd use a chemical compound called POR15 to uh, remove the rust and make it so that it doesn't break or uh, become damaged over time. Dung beetles. Dung beetles are the key to our entire system as they are responsible for removing the waste. A single dung beetle can roll up to 50 times its own weight in excrement. That's 8.18 pounds. And their reproductive rate is directly related to the amount of dung available to them, meaning that a colony will grow or shrink to fit the needs of its environment. The more waste, the more beetles. Dung beetles also increase the aeration of the soil when tunneling, and this in turn reduces the runoff of urine and liquid dung. Once begun, a dung beetle colony is basically a self-sustaining system of waste removal that will remain as long as there is human waste to feed on. Oh, I